Hello! Today we're going to talk about pictures. I'm first going to show some basic functions and also how to input pictures. Then we're going to add some numbering under the picture with a text. And I'm also going to show how to use several pictures if you group them, how to get labeling like ABC on the pictures. Then I finally show how to get those pictures into your text. If you want to follow along with the tutorial, you find as always the sample documents we're using today on my website. So let's get started. There are two ways to import a picture. You can go on File and Place, or you can drop your picture directly into InDesign from your folder. Now we get a little preview picture, and we can just click, and there's our picture. You should notice that we see our picture in our links panel, and if we would move the picture in our folder, it would break the link and we can then restore it in here. But the best idea is to never move your pictures once you use them in your InDesign document. I would like to reduce the size of the picture. I can do this by using the percentage bars. This will preserve the ratio of the picture. But I'm going to undo this and show you an alternative way. You can also use the handlebars of your picture frame and this will just rescale the frame. The picture itself stays the same. If I want the picture itself to scale, I can activate out of it and then it will scale as well. However, if I now double click on the picture, I get to the picture itself and can move it around and also scale it. And if I scale it now, I should press the shift key to preserve the ratio of the picture. Also, if you look at the top here, you get some functions that will help you to get the optimal size for your picture frame. So it's worth trying some of these out. If you are happy with your picture, it's time to create a headline. So we're going to create a new text box and define a paragraph style for our picture numbering. And we call this figure numbering. We can go on edit and make it based on font. And then we can go on bullets and numbering, numbers. And now we need to define a new list because we're using the default list already for our headlines. So we create a new list and call it pictures. Go on OK. And in number, we're going to insert this. These symbols here are representing the actual numbers and figure point is what stands in front of this number and double point and the space is what is following after the number. So you're going to see this in a second. We also want to create a character style for this. So we're using the one bold to make it bold. Go on OK. And if we now type something in here, picture, we see it is now saying figure one. Actually, I would prefer to have the whole word figure written, so I'm just going to change this. You can go and edit again, put this numbering, and just type in figure. And there we go, it's updated automatically. Now it's time to get the picture into our text frame. Therefore, we want to create a new line that holds our picture. We want to assign a paragraph style without formatting, for example, basic paragraph. And we can copy the picture into this box by pressing Command C when we have selected the picture. Double click onto the box and press Command V. And there we have our picture. We can resize the box. And there we go. If we want to control the distance between the picture and the text under the picture, you can move it around, just drag it up or down. But we want to have a fixed distance between the text under the picture and the actual picture. So we need to create a style for our object. We can go on new and call this picture. 
and then you can go on edit and deselect almost everything here expect anchored object and what you can do now is you can tweak the distance here so if you activate preview you can see how the distance between your text and the picture is changing and you can choose a distance that you like for example this might be a good distance so you go on OK and you would assign this style to all pictures you have and if you want to change the distance between your text and the picture later on you can just do it here and it will change in all your pictures now we want to create a figure that contains several pictures we need to take care of alignment and also numbering with ABC on the picture itself. First we are going to import the pictures. You can approximately drag them in the size you want to have them. We want to make sure that the pictures are aligned together quite good. So we are going to check how wide this picture is and copy the same number into the other one. Now they have the same proportions. So when we start with the alignment you can select both pictures and go to your line tool. With this button you can align them to the edge and also we want to have spacing and if we use the same spacing over our whole thesis it will look quite nice so we're going to click this button to get a 3 millimeter spacing now we can group the picture press command G to group them this is indicated by the dotted line and we see now the highs you can copy this one and transfer to this picture and we can again align them to each other and get the spacing of 3 millimeters. In this picture we want to double click and press the shift key to resize it. Now the pictures are nicely aligned. We want to solve the group again with ungroup and now we get some numbering on each corner with A, B and C. Therefore we want to create a circle and if we press the shift key we can make sure it has the right proportions. A good size is 7 millimeters and with the type tool you can click into the circle and type the letter A. We want to make sure to give the letter its own paragraph style so we're going to create a new one and we call this one ABC. The paragraph style should be aligned in the center it should have another font for example Arial and you want to have the font in bold. Also the alignment should be in the middle so we're going to click on align center here. We need to redefine the style. We can now place this letter on the picture and we are seeing it doesn't have a background so we need to give the circle a background and the best thing is white in this case and then we can copy it and place it on the other pictures as well. Of course we need to change it now to B and to C and now we need to get them aligned to each corner of the picture. Therefore you can select one picture and the circle. We go back to our align tool and we click align to left and to the top and we do this with each picture and if we select the whole thing now and then press the shift key and deselect the pictures 
this way we don't want like this we just have the three letters selected now we can move them down with the arrow key and you should move them down the same keystrokes on each picture so you have a nice consistent layout in your thesis I would say 5 down and 5 to the right are just fine. Now we can take a look how it looks at the moment. If you're happy with this, you can select it and go and group. And now it's time again to put this stuff into a text box. You need to create a text box. We want to have again our figure numbering. And you can take the whole picture, copy it and paste it into your text box. Resize the box a little bit. Actually, if you want to have the right size here, you can check how wide this one is, copy it and apply this to your text box so you get a nice accurate fit. If you want to add some information about the sub pictures like A, B, C, what they are showing, you can just type A and write something and the same thing for B and C as well. And we're going to assign a character style to A and we want to have it bold. Then finally get the size right of the text frame. And also important, as we did before, you need to assign the object style for the picture. Click on picture and you see now the distance is set how it should be. We could put this now into the text, but we're going to talk about something else first.